What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Furman Zero E Expansion Pack. So what this does is you add this to the E Zero power station to give it more battery life. Let's check it out. The power pack's gonna be a way to get more power out of the Zero E. So if you're already used to using this, it doesn't last quite as long as you'd like, you need a little more time, you can add this expansion pack on there to get that extra power. If you look at the display, we have 57% of the battery life. So if we were out camping, we had no way to plug this in and charge it anymore, we'd want to add that X-Pack on there to get more power out of it. So let's hook it up and see what it gives us. Now, it's really easy to set up the extra add-on. You just slide it on this way, set it in place, goes on those tracks, and clicks in. Now it's attached, and we can look at the battery life by going over to the display, hitting the button, we're at 81% with this combined with the extra pack now. To separate it, it's just as simple. You just push on this yellow button here and it slides back. Now that we talked about what it is, let's show you what it can do. We're here in the camper. We have all the lights on. We're gonna run the microwave to do the test on zero E and see what the readout is. Looks like the wattage peaked at about 1,942 watts. So that's how much power we were pulling. And then the time it said we had was 0.2 hours, which comes out to about 12 minutes. So using all that wattage, we'd be able to have 12 minutes of battery life. Now let's add the power pack and see if that changes. After testing out a second time, we see that the battery time changed to 0.5. So this was a bit of an extreme example. You're not gonna be running a microwave for that long, but 0.5 means it's up to a half an hour. So it almost doubled what power we had in the battery. So that just goes to show you that you're gonna get double the power with one pack added on. When you need to recharge the power pack, it's gonna have a USB-C port right here. You can plug it in and you hit the button and it'll let you know where the battery is. We got all four dots lit up. So that means it's fully charged, but if it was charging, it would slowly blink and go through these individually and show you where it is on the battery. Another option to charge it, if you just want to keep it together when you attach it to the Zero E, you can just plug it in the wall like you normally do to charge that, and it will charge both the top section, which is the Zero E, and the power pack, which is on the bottom. Now while you have it connected to your Zero E, you can cycle through to see where the battery power is. So this is going to be the main units at 35. The add-on, you'll see one there is the one add-on at the bottom, and that's at 77%. Overall, I was impressed with the power pack. I'm glad we were able to slide it into place without having to use any tools. You didn't have to hook up any wires. It was really easy to attach and detach this power pack. Plus, we were able to see that it doubles what you have with the Zero E on its own. So good to know that if you took it out one weekend when you got this, didn't quite make it all weekend, you need a little bit more power, you can grab one of these, slide on there, and have that extra power, or a couple of them, if that's what you need. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped. 